of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of the great known multitude, which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessings and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived of the great time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they, they will be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. expands upon Jewish laws and traditions. For the last three Sundays, we have heard Jesus respond to the questioning of the Pharisees, Herodians, and Sadducees, all who tried to trip him up with questions regarding the law of Moses. In today's Gospel, for the Feast of All Saints, Matthew records the Beatitudes, a part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Like Moses' ascent of Mount Sinai to receive the law, Jesus ascends on a mountain to teach his disciples. Jesus highlights multiple groups who are blessed, people who are poor in spirit, mourning, meek, hungry and thirsty for righteousness, merciful, pure in heart, peacemakers, and persecuted for righteousness' sake, and insult. In these, Jesus emphasizes aspects of spiritual growth, divine comfort, suffering, and future rewards. Most of the rewards and beatitudes are future-oriented, leading us to wonder what to do about present-day conditions. But the beatitudes can be read with an eye to the present, not only the future. The saints whom we celebrate today are men and women who witness by their lives that we can live those qualities now. They show us examples of how to live in the face of adversity, and they remind us of that action, not only words, reveal faith in Christ. On this All Saints Day, let us be mindful that all of us are called to be saints. The Beatitudes reveal to us how to live as Christ did. So let us today be resolved to live our lives as those who strive to be saints and to live our faith righteously. Amen. Now let us together make our profession of faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Standing now before the Lord, let us express some of our need in our prayer of the faithful. That church leaders may humble themselves to be servants of the Master, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn, may they be consoled, and those who are dying find comfort and home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. During National Vocation Awareness Week, we ask the Holy Spirit to renew the church with more vocations to the priesthood and consecration. 
good life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young man from our parish will respond to the church's tremendous need for priests. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may they challenge society to provide for all the weak. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Marla Jo Herman, who will be baptized this weekend, that she and her family will be drawn closer to Christ and his church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who await mental, physical, and emotional and spiritual healing, that God's grace can touch them and bring them healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the departed may rejoice as they are called into fellowship with Christ, include, including Evelyn Rosette, wife of the white lady Norman, and mother of Nancy Miller. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As a worshiping community, we are united with our family of faith, and together we pray for the following weekly Mass intentions. Evelyn Van Dam, Angeline Trigali, the Clifford Julian family, Hannah Fremont, living and deceased members of the Bismarck family, Thomas Milton Oliver, Dominic and Nancy Williams, Joe Williams, Walter and William Bebo, and Evelyn Sheeran. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord God, as we celebrate this great feast of all the saints, we are mindful of our call to be saints as well, following in their example. We make our prayer now in the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. sisters that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, our loving and almighty creator. May, May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice and the end for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that, just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For today, your gift, for today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten, as pilgrims, pilgrims advance in bright faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we sing. <laughs> Remember, Lord, your church, that throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, the clergy, religious, and the entire people, your Son, who is King, for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Lady of Hope, her husband Joseph, with the Apostle, St. Germain, St. Gertrude, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, so that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said you were apostles, and you say to us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down on the sins of our faith and the church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
May Almighty God continue to bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Thank you.